We're expecting our consumers to pay top money for a, a red meat eating experience. They've got every right to ask questions about where their product's coming from, what it's had done to it, and is it farmed in a sustainable way? I think that's totally reasonable. A lot of our decisions on farm here are based around that with the consumer in mind. We sort of think, will they want to see this and are we doing the right thing by then? We're Morris and Renee Judson. We're farming here with our family in Awamanga, South Otago. Wisteria is owned by Dr David Ivory and his wife Wichini. They've had the property for 20 years and we've been part of it for 12 years as farm managers. So we're 1,700 hectares, 1,550 of that is effective. We run just under 10,000 ewes. We winter 3,000 ewe hoggets. The 750 mixed age hinds along with their progeny and then the cattle operation is 230 odd yearling cattle. We have five full-time staff, including myself, a stock manager, a machinery agricultural manager, and then we have two shepherds. Cut this clover paddock. David's provided great infrastructure, staff housing, animal working areas, fertility, pasture species, fencing, all of that's in great shape, and that makes my job so much easier. We can really focus on the stock performance, get that right to where we want it. <laughs> Renee and I were lucky enough to have our younger years on farms. It was a common goal for us to do the same for our children. The kids are out right from when they could walk, they've been out and about with us helping. Now they're getting a bit older, they're even more useful. The community involvement is pretty strong. Most of it at this stage has been through schools, mainly the Clutha Valley Primary School. The PTA's big claim to fame is the recipe book which they bought out six years ago and has been a huge success. There was $100,000 net profit which was donated to the school. So it was a huge achievement and the girls were extremely proud of their efforts. Renee and I, average isn't in the picture. We have to be performing as near to the top of the industry standards as we can get. Yep. The Plate to Pasture Award from Silver Fern Farms. We won the Lower South Island region with our venison. We could really align ourselves with their Plate to Pasture concept, bringing the consumer closer to the producer. Part of our management over the years here is just to make sure that we are trying to do things that the town people will want to see. Perception is everything. What people see, whether it's right or wrong, that, that will be what people stick with. I'm doing what I want to do outside, growing good quality pastures, using good genetics, seeing the farm progress. I love it. If we can keep doing that, we'll be happy.